Have you ever wondered what it's like to go through basic training today? So many improvements have been made recently to enhance the process of turning civilians into soldiers. That's why we are launching our exclusive series, The Making of a Soldier, to show you modern day warrior making. Kenya Mills takes us to Sand Hill for part one. Day one and the immersion into a whole new world. Let's go guys, get your freaking bag and let's freaking move. We ain't got all day. You have a cell phone, iPod, put them away now. Tuck in your shirt inside of your pan. You would throw all your food items away. You would get rid of all the items that is prohibited while you're in training. You refer to me as drill sergeant. Not drill sergeant sir, not sir drill sergeant, not even sir. Do you understand me? Yes, drill sergeant! And that's how the adventure begins. These men enlisted in the U.S. Army, and today they arrive at Fort Benning, Georgia. Let's go. This is not basic training yet. It's the 30th AG Reception Battalion. Put the stuff in the back and then go. It's like going to a very busy airport for the first time. Because you're trying to find where you're supposed to be going. You're standing in line. You're confused. You don't know what's where. Did you get a lunger bag? It's here at reception where the process of turning civilians into soldiers begins with a series of instructions for every given task. Put everything inside that duffel bag. More army, please. From taking an official photo. One, two, and three. PC off, please. But no smell, okay? To creating One, an ID two. card. Okay, I'd like for you to place your right index finger here for me, please. Ball put on the floor. Raise your heel up. To trying on new boots. Heel loose and snug. So have a seat sideways, just like these other soldiers are sitting. And inventory your stuff. You have to follow instructions because there's so many people that come through here all the time. And so you just have to move, 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 move. And sometimes half the crew do, do not know what they're supposed to be doing because there's so many things going on at one time you get confused really. It happens in a rapid motion until it's time to eat. Then it seems like the line never moves. Right, move up, move For up. some, waiting Next. in endless lines Sports is a lesson in patience. I was expecting to get in, get all my stuff, and go straight to basic and start working. But what really happened? I came here, I sat, I wait, and I'm waiting still. Here, they also make a stop at the barber shop. Not too different. This is usually how I do my hair. I was just too cheap to get a haircut before, you know what I mean? Save some money on shampoo. Before I looked hot, <laughs> I uh, actually had <laughs> I had hair. Um, <laughs> I had hair. Um, I looked good, and now all of a sudden I have no hair and glasses. So uh, it's uh, definitely a change. One, two. About Speaking of glasses, Red. it's at reception where recruits get a prescription for BCGs, which stands for... <laughs> the, the troops call them birth control glasses. They're not real fashionable like that. I definitely cannot wait for those, and apparently they're indestructible, so I can step on them not have to worry. There's also a series of medical screenings. All right, perfect like that. Now. And for those who arrive with the fear of needles, in this line, they'll find a cure. I've been to the doctor very seldom, and other than that, I've not had this many shots. And within five days, I've got like six shots. Go, let's go, cover down, cover down, cover down. There's even a formation and procedure for buying hygiene products and other supplies. Yes, sir. You need to get toothpaste, then the floss, toothbrush. Shampoo. That was actually kind of strange because we had to all stand in line and then we had to be ordered what we were allowed to buy and what we were allowed not to buy. Everybody turn around. Yeah, I feel babied. Like I can't do anything. Like I just feel like these are my parents telling me what to do. Razors, socks, baby wipes. A lot of the time they got you on the run so you don't really have time to do what you got to do in the latrine like shower and everything. So uh, baby wipes just gives you a nice quick cleanup <laughs> and then you can keep it moving from there. But despite the endless lines and demands, they can all agree they have each other to get through it all. Uh, yes, it is a lot of instruction, but you know, you have, that's where you have your battle buddy and your people and your friends because if you didn't get an instruction, they'll tell you. That's the best part because you meet people from different walks of life and they tell you their story, you tell them your story, y'all become friends, things are going good, and when we get the basic, we'll probably never see these guys again, but we'll be friends forever. There's some that are real good guys that I'd fight side by side with any day. Go back in that line, young man. In the end, you can call reception the line ride for the adventure ahead. We're already here. This is quite the adventure already. Kenya Mills for Benning TV. If you're unsure, ask your battle buddy to help you out. 
And now that these trainees are ready to hit the ground running, make sure to tune into the next spending report, where drill sergeants kick up the speed, stress, and volume. These recruits have no idea what they're in for.